God, this city looks nice. This game looks nice for its time. Hell, even now it still looks nice. Hello, everybody. Goggles TigerCon here, and welcome back to Oblivion. Last episode, we checked out Vilverin over there. Vilverin, whatever. This time, we're gonna go into the. Uh... Actually, no. I know what I know what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press the tilde key, and I'm gonna show you something I love to do with this game. That my shadow on the wall actually scared me because I thought it was a bug, <laughs> and I hate bugs. So what we're going to do is we're going to do COC space testing hall. Now, if you're now you can only um, as far as I know, you can only get here on PC by using this command. But if you go here, you go to the testing hall, a dur. But you get some interesting stuff here. For example, wooden door to Hawkhaven. Where is Hawkhaven? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. But anyway, you get stuff like book warehouse, lighting warehouse, Miscellaneous clutter warehouse. Weapons warehouse. Oh god. The lasagna coming back to haunt me warehouse. Clothing warehouse. Armor warehouse. You know, lower class clutter. Middle class clutter. Upper class clutter. Lockpick warehouse, which needs a key. Wooden or hall of combat. Test AI testing warehouse. NPC combat AI warehouse. You know, there's a bunch of testing features. Now, why am I here? Uh, well, first off, I need to find the clothing warehouse again. That's the weapons warehouse. Clothing warehouse. There we go. Well, also, I'm going to be going into the weapons warehouse for good reason. Um, I'm in here because I want to get this. <laughs> That's pretty much it. The clothing warehouse, you can get the emperor's robes. I can also get the great kind of nocturnal early if I really want to. But I'm not gonna. Um... Yeah. I wanted to get the Emperor's Rose because, you know, why the hell not? Also in here, I want to get stuff that... I want to get a pick up a few few weapons. I know one of them I'm going to have to go to a different room for, but... And, uh... You'll see in a minute. But I want to get, like... Well, you see here... Okay, these are all the Daedric artifacts right here. Almost. Ceremonial Dagger. No idea what that actually does, but it looks a lot like the, uh... Maroon's Razor. You got Chill Rind here. See all the level, all the weapons you're seeing here are actually like, I'm pretty sure they're like all the level one ones. Thorn Blade is one of my favorite looking weapons in the game, honestly. Crystal Staff, Crystal Staff, two different looking ones. You get gold, gold weapons straight out of Minecraft. You get the Dragon Sword of Laneland, and as far as I know, this is the only place you can actually get it because one of the rooms I looked in here isn't exactly, it doesn't exactly have it. You get a Tarnished Order Sword just floating in the air. Not anymore. You get Dark Bow. You get Mace the Crusader. Sword of the Crusader. You know, just all these things. Now, Shadowrend... If you look at... If you actually take a good look at, Shad at the Shadowrend weapons, you can see that they're actually like... That they actually seem to be untextured weapons. In fact, I know for... In fact, if you look at sh this Shadowrend sword, it's actually the, just like a shiny black... Pretty much untextured version of the Dragon Sword of Laneland. Which is funny, because Shadowrend here is actually doing more damage and weighs less <laughs> than the than the Dragon Sword of Laneland. This thing is more valuable than the Dragon Sword of Laneland. Now I don't now I'm not sure, but I think sh the Shadowrend weapons might actually be cut weapons. And if they are, I mean obviously I'm gonna pick one up. Blackwater Blade. I don't remember that. Broken Sword. <laughs> It's not even a sword. What's it doing here? Then you got children, staff of worms, this thing that I'm trying to look at. Oh, it's just a club. Never mind. So what I'm gonna do is, is because this is a cut weapon that I think is completely unattainable. I'm taking it. Be mostly because of how, mostly because I like how it looks. Now the other thing I want to get over here, wooden door two, nothing. Basically, this can this room is full of crates that contain every single, well, almost every single item in the entire game. So, all in ingredients, books, soul gems, sigil stones, armor and clothing, armor and weapons, miscellaneous items, all keys, potions, spell tomes, test DLC, all knights, and then over here you have all the crates for the DLC. Special edition potions and ingredients, special edition keys, special edition misc, special edition armor and stuff, special edition weapons, and special edition books. That's not what I'm here for. 
I'm here to go to ammo and weapons. Because I want to use something... Well, I'm here for two... I'm going to be in here for two, three different things. Just one thing that will that will help me out quite a bit. Um, what I need is, like, I need something that can... What I'm looking for is a bow that is capable of... A bow or an arrow that is capable of soul trap. Because I'm going to be using enchanted weapons and armor a lot in this playthrough. I mean, who doesn't? But I'm going to need, like... <laughs> Boris's Akavira Katana. <laughs> I'm going to need specifically, like, a bow slash arrow that is actually, that is capable of doing that. Because in all the playthroughs I've had in the past, coming across a good bow for that has Soul Trap is actually kind of difficult. And I always have to rely on Soul Gems, but having to buy Soul Gems is just, it just gets tedious. Also, um, yeah, there's multiple different children. There's actually a, there's actually a children for each level tier, and I'm gonna take this one. Why am I taking this one? Because <laughs> I because I can never do the quest right. <laughs> like seriously, I have done that quest multiple times. I never do it do it well enough to get the um to get children at the end of it. I one of the like one of the people necessary to get the the quest always dies no matter what I do. And I have no clue why I'm so bad at it. I see I'm not I'm not bad at oblivion. Like not at like I'm not I'm not what you would consider bad at oblivion. I'm just not good at that one particular quest. I'm not good at make keeping people alive. I am a bad I am a bad teammate. Um Okay, I think I know where it is. I need to go down to E, F, G, H. Where is H? Where is H? Hatred's heart. Hatred's soul. Fire damage. Drain it. No, wait, no, wait. Hatred's soul. Er ah! So, Hatred's soul arrow. That's what I need. So I'm going to take that. And, uh... Let's see. Is there anything else here that I want? I kind of want, like, a... I honestly wouldn't mind having, like, a... Have having like a um... actually, you know what? For, for, forget that. We're not gonna um, we're not gonna grab it there. Now I'm actually gonna stop the recording here for a moment because I need to look for something. I specifically want to look for scrolls, and for some weird reason, I've I'm never ever able to find like scrolls. I have no idea what they would actually be in. Like, I've tried this, I've tried that. I can never find scrolls in this one. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, specifically... I need to find, like, Flare Bolt or something like that. But I can never find that. Well, I found some Elder... Hey, look, it's the Elder Scrolls! <laughs> but anyway... I need to find... Arthur's Nose Glock... A key map... Handbill... No idea what handbill is. But I specifically need scrolls for something. Multiple of them, actually. Like, three. So, yeah. Um, if I can't find... A reverse invisibility, why would I do that? Anyway. Summon Rufio's Ghost Stormrider Scroll. Uh, let's see. If I can't find it, I'll add a couple in console commands. All right, guys, I'm back. I really couldn't figure out like where in here like the scrolls were act were actually were, so I just added them via console commands. You know, I cheated. Meme goes here, but anyway, mm. I added some scrolls to my inventory. Specific. I added five of one and ten of the other. Now here's something. Now here's how I do this. I select inspiring touch. Then I dropped Starlight. Five and five. So now I got ten. Uh, wait. This one always confuses me for like the first like... For like the first hour. <laughs> Let's 
Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. So now I'll, now I'll take, like, the starlight. I'll actually drop all the starlights. Now I'll take this one. No, wait, no. I'll keep that one. And then... Shit. <laughs> I didn't want that. <laughs> I'll drop that. And then I'll drop, like... I'll drop two. Actually, let's drop set. No, yeah, two. Yeah, we'll drop two of them. Because honestly, so select flash bolt, drop inspiring touch. See how it only dropped two there? Well, now look, I've got 16. So now we select inspiring touch, then drop flash bolt. I've got 20 of that. Select flash bolt, drop inspiring touch. Oh, good lord. I start auto walking by accident. So now I got 32 of that. Now I hit, now. And, you know, rinse, rinse, repeat. Basically, du it's the duplication glitch. We all know the duplication glitch. But this is how I'm going to keep maintaining my hard-to-find hard to items. And... Yeah, I'm going to have to do this for a good while. I'm hammering. There we go. 64 Hatred Soul Arrows, which means I can actually drop that. Drop all 100 of those, because I don't care. So, anyway, now that I'm done here, for the most part, we're going to go into Hawkhaven. <coughs> oh, good lord. That is really, um... Now, so, I, I swear, somewhere in this village is an NPC ingredients inside. Tr test crate, very hard. Potions inside. But, um, I swear, somewhere in here... Tongs. Lel. Somewhere in here... I swear, somewhere in here is, like, an NPC that has Todd Howard's voice. But I'm not sure. But anyway, if we go to the map, world map, we can see that Hawk Haven is apparently right here. No idea where that is exactly. Maybe it's up. Maybe it's down. I'm not gonna no-clip to find out. Unless I fall out of the world. But anyway, we are going to go to... The Imperial City Waterfront... No, we're gonna go to the, uh, fuck, what is it? The, um, Market, Elven Gardens, Imperial Palace, no, Temple District, Talos Plaza. We're gonna go to, no, we're gonna go to here. Elven Gardens. Because it's time for us to have, to get our first guild line going. Also, I don't know how much gold do I have. 165, no, no, that, that, no, I have 203, just to cover this, because I'm pretty sure, like, the first, because I'm pretty sure if this gets witnessed or reported, it automatically goes up. I'm just ensuring I don't go to prison for this. This is just a precaution. So basically, we're going to take, we're going to take, uh, children, and we're going to one-shot this bitch. I'm listening. No, not Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks the law on my watch. Pay your fine or soft. Okay, so it's just forty. Okay, hey. That's too okay. Okay, so you saw up in the corner, your killing has been observed by forces unknown. Ooh, spooky! So what we're gonna do is we are going to fast travel to the Imperial City waterfront on the other side of town, apparently. I just realized that the graphic inside the border there is actually, like, falling outside. Uh, why? Continue. No, I'm not going to make that my active quest. I'll, I have something else I got to do. Hello. Anytime, friend, I'm right here. The one thing is weird is, like, if you actually listen to their, con listen to their conversation, we'll be dealing with these guys and Amusei in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to rest for an hour. Because that's all you can rest for when this happens. Soundly for a murderer. Nah, shit. The media that's saw me playing video games again. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. Sorry, dude. I don't want to. I do not want to get married to you. We already had to deal with you once in Skyrim. 
Who is you? Who at you? I am Lucian the Chance. My name is Curler Cack. You. you are a killer, taker of life, a harvester of souls. Your work, your death craft, your death craft, mother. And so I come to you with an offering, an opportunity to join our rather unique family. Family. Please continue, Mr. The Chance. Ah, I find your etiquette refreshing. Refreshing. Now please, listen carefully. On the green road to the north of Breville lies the Inn of Ill Omen. There you will find a man named Rufio. You hear his voice crack. The man, the man, the man. <laughs> and your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Do this in the memory next time of me. In a location <laughs> I deem secure. Like right here. I'll reveal myself once more, bearing the love of your new family. Okay, the way the way he pauses before he says the love makes me feel like it's like a trap, you know? Bearing the love. Rufio will die by my hand. Excellent. Now please. Accept this token from the Dark Brotherhood. It is a virgin blade and thirsts for blood. May it serve your in now. <laughs> it's a virgin blade. The path is clear. See Looks like me and this blade have something in common, huh? <laughs> now where ha where where what where where's the fastest way to go for me? No. Where am I supposed to go? I need to go to down the gold road. The gold road. Bob's road. In a Ville Omen. Uh, actually, okay, what would be fastest? Measuring with my finger here. Traveling from the stable to here versus like... Yeah, it'll be faster to travel to this stable over here. I used to actually swim across the water. But man, that that dude was some serious straight up ASMR, what wasn't he? I look ridiculous. I still haven't put my boots back on. I'm just a barefoot Khajiit running around here. You know what I need to get through here so quickly? I need some skooma. Okay, one thing I have that has me curious is like in this game, um, skooma is a uh, is a drink. Or something. Or whatever. I it, I think it's classified as a drink. I mean, it's classified as a potion. And potions in this game are technically drinks. Why am I... Honest labor earns a play at my chapel... Who? Oh, Zenith. What, what, what did you just do to me? Uh, active effects. Fortify, agility, speed, and... Oh, good. So now I'm actually moving a little bit faster then. But there's a wolf. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> I forgot. I still have children. <laughs> children who who does whopping eight damage. Let's cut that in half, shall we? Uh, that's a two-handed sword. That is a claymore. Woomph. Woom. Woom. Eh. You know what I'll do? I'll just fast forward and play music unless something interesting happens soon. Hey look, something interesting. Uh, maybe four damage is a little too much. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna punch people. We're gonna be a punch cat. We're gonna be a punch cat. Okay, anyway. Back to the music. Well, All right, here we are. Spotted snow bear, a customer. Yay! You got plenty of rooms if you want one. Ain't nobody staying here these days except old Rufio. 
Rufio. Rufio? He's an old codger. Been living here for a couple of weeks now. If you ask me, he's hiding from something. Or someone. But what do I care? He pays his tab. His room is downstairs. What was with that pause? The private quarters. The private Use quarters. Use that hatch in the floor over there. Uh, but don't expect a warm reception. I'm not. <laughs> Farewell. And tell your friend. Okay, now here's this dude. This old... This old fart. Hey. Get up. I want to expand the lore. Hey, what do you want? <coughs> I ain't done nothing. Oh, but you have, Rufio. No, please. I didn't mean to do it, you understand me? She struggled. I... I told her to just stay still, but she wouldn't listen. I had no choice. And Rufio is dead. <laughs> and I'm gonna sleep. So, the deed is done. done. How, How do, do I, I know this? this? You'll find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things. For you are now part of the family. Yay. My life for the Brotherhood. Indeed. For the slaying of Rufio is the signing of a covenant. The manner of execution... Your signature. Rufio's blood. The ink. As a speaker of the Black Hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group and fulfill any contracts given. You must now go to the city of Chadenhall, to the abandoned Chaden house Harder. near the eastern wall. Enter the basement and a you will be yeah, okay, we basically he's telling us the password. Uh, yeah, he's, he's telling us how to get in the door. Ochiva, one of my favorite characters in the game. Not my most favorite character, the uh... The hell? Uh... Am I crazy? Did I... I swear I saw something move. There's a spy creeping around here. Man, I keep hitting E. I need to stop... <laughs> I need to stop playing so much ESO. How are you? But I can't help it. It's so much fun. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Oblivion NPC dialogue in a nutshell, right? That was amusing. <laughs> you know, one of these days, I should... I should have an episode where all we do is just watch NPCs have stupid conversations. Oh great, here comes the door of bad ASMR. White is the color of night. Ew, that makes my skin crawl. Ugh. I've gained entry and I must now speak with this lovely lovely woman here. Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucien has told me all about you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Now, I've kept you long enough. No, the Chente please. is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. And look at that grin. The way she just smiles at me. Ochiva is so cute. 
Go now, dear family member, and may the night mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. The other thing I don't understand is why her scales are so pale. In character creation, pale scales usually tends to mean that they are old as dirt. <laughs> but then you get over to Tainava here, who is actually Ochiva's twin brother, believe it or not, and his I scales... Welcome you to the sanctuary, his scales look young. Brother. Oh, so now we're related? I'm kidding. It's a brotherhood. We always call each other brother. Hello. I welcome you to our family and the sanctuary. May you find yourself at home here in the loving embrace of Our Lady, the Night Mother. Where are your eyes? How do you even... this be with you? How do you see me with that hood up like that? Hello. I've heard so much about you. Welcome to our family. Yeah, you're cool. But why, sister? What's the point? Why should anyone bother with all that... Eh, uh, this and that, you know. My dear God. Also, this guy. I love this guy. He's funny. Get away from me. Why? We look we look almost exactly the same, dude. Actually, we do almost look exactly the same. <laughs> I just need to put on a green robe and I'll look just like you. If it isn't the newest member of the family, let's get one thing straight. The tenants prevent me from killing you, but I don't have to like you. I'll sell you equipment, but don't yeah, 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 whatever. Away from me, house cat. Uh, look at that fur. What a disgrace. Meow. 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 Hey, call me a house cat. I'm going to act like one. <laughs> well, ah, here you are. no idea how long this video is. No, no idea how long this video is, but I'm going to end it here because I don't want to run over time and have like a 24-hour upload length that doesn't even work all the way. So, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here, and in the next one, we're going to take on our first contract. Ah, here you are. So good to finally meet you. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you.